welcome back to catching up with the one and only Renee. so if this is your first time on this channel please be sure to subscribe and join this big beautiful family yes and if you're already part of the gang 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 you already know what to do make sure to like share and turn on your post notification bell to be alerted every time i post a banging video yes so uh guys i'm sure you've seen by the title today today's video is spicy 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 and actually this is a new segment of the type of uh, videos i'll be doing and we're going to call it whipping it up with renee hey yes so during this type of videos or when I have this type of videos up, you'll know that it's time to come to the kitchen with Renee and try something new or something I like, I don't know. It can be drinks, it can be food, it can be snacks, anything new. We're gonna be trying it on together and we're gonna be learning and testing new food, new recipes and all that. So yeah. In this video, we're going to be making something called a goosey. I'm sure the whole internet knows what a goosey is. I don't even need to like describe what it is at this point. And if you know me, if you're a close friend of mine, you know that I love a goosey. I'm such a sucker for a goosey. Like that's one of like the Western foods that I like. And guys, by the West Western food, I know I'm not talking about the West, like America, USA. No, I mean like west in terms of africa okay so i'm a southern girl i'm from zambia down in the west and i'm going to be trying to make a goosey for the first freaking time because i'm tired of always having to buy it from an african shop or to wait for some of my uh western friends to cook it so your girl is like i'm taking matters in my own hands and we're gonna cook this we're going to make this a goosey and it's going to taste good so i'm using a youtube video I love the way she cooked it so I went to the African shop I'm sure I've already released that vlog or maybe I'll release it after this video I don't know but I show where I got it I got it I got the ingredients from Moscow um the African shop at the Rinak at the market Chopli stand and uh, I hope I pronounced that correct I've forgotten and yeah I didn't get everything so guys the westerners watching this video listen to me and listen to me carefully yeah the westerners watching this video i know your girl is not a professional goosey maker it's the first time and i may not have got all the ingredients but i tried to nearly get everything so if you see me making it different i beg be lenient eh if you're going to comment please just tell me what i should do right what i should do next time but i'm trying to make lumpy a goosey so yeah i'll try my best and what i didn't manage to get as uh mentioned in the video of the youtube i'm using if i didn't get it guys i won't promise i'm a feminine woman i'm a woman that's what we do i may add a little bit of soft soft kick to it but don't worry i ain't gonna change nothing because i love the goosey western style okay let's not waste any time let's get right into the video so let's get cooking fam so the first thing that i started uh, with preparing is uh, the meat i got lamb meat specifically and uh, i later on added some pork that i had in my refrigerator i actually got the lamb from the african market so yeah that's what we're going to start with so now we're going to boil our meat so we're going to also add uh, our chopped onions uh, to the boiling meat before boiling it actually as you can see you add the onion and then after that we're going to add our spices but at this stage we just need the no-go which i've heard everyone call maggi it doesn't matter what brand it is everyone just calls it maggi so yeah we're going to add our maggi i added uh, two uh cubes of no or oh maggi yeah they're so hard guys i literally had to like pound pound them so that i can you know be able to get it you know to this powdery state then after that i just added uh, some salt as you can see not too much because the no or maggi has uh, a lot of salt itself then you add some water i just needed a lot of broth that i could use for the egusi later on so yeah, after that you cover it and uh, we put it to boil till the meat is uh, tender. 
so guys these are the ingredients we're going to use uh, we have the oh my goodness i've forgotten how to pronounce it yo my oh my anyways i mean do a voiceover so this is the ugo leaves ugo leaves hopefully i'm pronouncing it correctly then we have uh, the egusi so there were seeds then at the market i had asked them to blend it for me the egusi that's the star of the show guys then we have the pepe grinded as well then we have the uh, palm oil palm oil palm oil palm oil palm oil uh, then we have the no i've already used like two guys because i've already bought the meat at this point and then we have a uh, stock fish i'm sure yeah stock fish i didn't get dried fish guys i don't want it very fishy but i want a bit of the fish the um, man who was selling it said that this is what um, westerners usually add to soup so that it can give it a certain nice distinct taste a bit fishy and so on so we have this i think i have to soak it in hot water then we have uh, this which is the oh my goodness i've forgotten what this is called one second guys i'll come back to you then we've got the bell pepper let me show you the bell pepper guys got the bell pepper we've got uh crayfish yeah i just checked this is a crayfish so that's what we got guys so let's get cooking we're going to start with the gussie we're going to put some uh stock from the meat in it so our meat was done boiling and i drained out most of the broth for the next stage and now moving on to our second protein see clumsy me <laughs> anyways moving on to the protein which was the crayfish i was just going to soak it in some hot water uh let me know give me a tip guys from the west am i supposed to soak it in hot water or boil it let me know in the comment section below now moving on to the style of the show the egusi we are going to be uh making a paste and this will include uh, three cups of egusi so yeah you're just going to watch me add three whole cups of the egusi then after that we will add the broth from uh, the meat we had boiled earlier uh, this helps with the flavor to keep that flavor you know in the soup so yeah that's the paste after we've fully mixed it yeah at this point i was feeling like i've been in the egusi game for a long time like you can't tell me nothing <laughs> so guys it was time to blend our peppers i had my bell pepper ready and the chili pepper so we're just going to blend uh, everything all together and uh guys yo sorry five seconds it's too clean <laughs> yo guys your girl struggled and let me just point out this is not the first time that i'm blending pepper or like onions and stuff like that i have one but it's once in a while because if you need to understand something us in the south we really don't uh, blend our peppers or onions tomatoes we usually grate them with a grater i don't know if that's what it's called <laughs> to you but i'll try to find a picture of it or maybe just chop them up so i don't usually do this and i was trying to figure it out am i struggling because of the type of blender or maybe my southern ancestors are not happy that i'm trying to learn how to make this dish they're like girl you don't even know how to make efisashi that's like a southern dish very delicious guys and here you are trying to learn how to make a goosey no 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 but anyways we strived at the end of the day uh i managed and it came out good <sighs> So Mr. Blackson, the pot is now ready for the next stage. We're just going to add our palm oil. And guys, I remember once my friend cooked without the palm oil, made that egusi without the palm oil. And I was like, why does it look white? I want it to look red. That's when it will taste good. <laughs> Little did I know, but I like it with the palm oil. Yeah, so next we're going to add the onions and then fry. 
so guys here comes the mistake i wanted this video to look aesthetically pleasing and i dissed mr blacks in the pot that you weren't cute enough for this video okay so i changed and uh, put in the other pot thinking okay it will look cuter uh, i regretted replacing mr blackson continue watching you see so guys now we're going to add in our crayfish i actually added two of uh, these little balls of crayfish then afterwards we just give it a good stir once we're done with that we add in our bell pepper and uh, give it a good stir as well then we add our salt and then uh, our nook spice which is like yes the maggi <laughs> yeah so you have to let the stew cook for a while then uh, once we're ready we bring in the agusi paste so we have to add the agusi to the stew in uh, both forms i don't know if that makes sense but yes the most important thing is that you let this agusi cook otherwise you get a runny stomach <laughs> so we cover it and let it cook for some time then uh, guys this is where i regretted exchanging mr blackson for this pretty pot it was too small and as a result my goosey started burning so i had to bring back mr blackson so much for being an aesthetic youtuber trying to let everything look cute oh yeah guys get used to mr blackson he's part of the family now <laughs> guys i also had some fresh spinach uh, let's begin combining everything so we start with the crayfish just add that mix a bit then next our meat our lamb and pork uh, once we're done that we just tear it up well so it combines well with the goosey then we have uh, our pepe i just added that because oh my goodness i love pepe i love things that taste chili guys so after that we just cover up the mix so that uh, everything cooks and you know the flavors just combine then we have our ugo leaves i just added that um, i actually added everything after that we give it a good stir as well then later on we add our spinach as well as you know we don't have to mix the spinach you just have to cover it and it will you know uh, i don't know how to call it settle in <laughs> yeah so as you can see guys this is how amazing it looked once the spinach had gone down just look at the color guys look at the vegetables the meat the goosey all combined well guys i think i did a great job it just looks so beautiful and i can't believe i did that yo so i had to go all the way in i clean wrap my swallow which was the manka the same way the westerners do and uh guys yeah it turned out good as well and uh let me tell you this agusi did not just look amazing honey it tasted amazing i really did my thing okay so anyways in the next clips i'm going to be giving you guys my reviews as i eat this delicious agugu agusi made by me So guys, um, I'm finally done cooking the goose and I'm about to eat y'all and uh, I have already tested the goosey. Guys, I slid like, I ain't even like, I ain't even sorting myself out but this is a, uh, I'm giving myself like a 7.5 out of 10 because I feel like this agusi tastes so good. It was so difficult to make and it took me a minute just to make it because like guys, I don't even know. I started cooking around like 20 and it's like 1 already and I'm so freaking tired but like it was so worth it. As you can see, I'm already in my little night outfit because guys, I'm just too tired like i wanted to eat and actually enjoy my meal like while i some in my comfortable clothes and i'm a, i'm about to sleep or something i didn't want to have the tight clothes on so yeah i know maybe it's because it's my first time next time it will be faster but like yo know, 
it was so much work i'm literally tired and i'm drained yeah so um what are my reviews uh so firstly the first mistake i made guys is that the pot was too small i made the food the goosey in a small pot and that really affected the outcome i think if i made it in a bigger pot i would have like you know it would have been much easier for me because i struggled and i changed be like i switched between pots if you're a beginner make sure you're making the goose in a big pot i think three cups of a goosey was too much i think two would have done just well and uh yeah everything was just delicious guys like i enjoyed it the method i followed was so brilliant and i'm so happy guys like you don't know how happy i am that i've been a goosey for the first <laughs> guys that's it like a goosey is not part of my menu like period <laughs> except every time i make it now i'll need to be making it faster so yeah guys that's the end of this video i'm so sorry i have you have to see me in my pajamas like this at the end of the video but like <laughs> I give this a go see 7.5 out of 10. I recommend it. So, so yeah, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, also turn on that post notification bell. Follow me on all my social medias. That's Chandrina, Instagram, um, Snapchat, especially because I vlog every day on there. And uh, what else? Yeah, I think that will be all. Your girl's about to finish up her goosey. Happy, proud a southern girl doing the most southern girl on the egg goo goo. Ah, guys, I'm so happy. Like, I'm so happy. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. See you in the next video. See ya. Mm -hmm.